Steve here at West Green. Uh, I built a static grass generator the other day. Uh, it was from uh, a design that Luke Towen did. He's an Australian modeler. And uh, hold on, I'll show you it. This is it. It's basically a piece of uh, down, uh, what do I call it? Down rain pipe, down water rain pipe or something like that or 42 mil PVC pipe it's got a coupler there which I cut in half uh, it's got a piece of plastic from the base which I cut out so it doesn't fall down inside it's glued in the high tension wire is soldered to the top uh, this is a food container with a clip on lid and I bought a, sp uh, I bought a um, cheap um, Oh, that's about six dollars, I think, something like that. And then I bought one of those kitchens, um, you know, the strainers, the big ones with the uh, anyway. I bought one, cut the middle out for the mesh, uh, and then threw the rest of the container away. Inside is a um, 14 dollar negative iron generator, uh, goes via a switch, uh, and a two and a half mil socket at the end, which allows me to either use uh, a 12 volt DC supply which I've got but there's also a 9 volt battery so as soon as it's work it will work now on my 9 volt battery uh, as soon as I plug it in disconnects the 9 volt battery and makes it work on 12 volts put a press button so I can't leave it on there's the earth wire with, with a um, alligator clip on the end so I've had a go this is my first go at static grass I bought some Woodland Scenics. I've got some I've got uh, medium grass, 12 and 6 mil, and some 6 mil light grass, and some. Also got some flocking, and this, this is homemade stuff. I tried, but that's with an old sponge. So um, what I decided to do was um, put a base of flocking down first, so that uh, so that the uh, static grass when it goes down, there's no, you know obviously bare patches of brown or whatever it is so on my embankments there and here I did this last night and I've, I've vacuumed it off and so I've saved it all so that's my that's my um, uh, even now it looks a bit better it looks it looks like too much like a Hornby Model Railway magazine though at the moment. So I tried the static grass, never done it before. Here it goes, here it goes. I think because it's very long, it's going to sort of bend over anyway. I mean, it's 12 mil. If it was 2 mil, it would probably stick up all right, but 12 mil, I mean, yeah. So I, I mixed up a bit of lights and darks and different lengths in there. It, well, it looks all right to me. Maybe it could be better. Maybe you've got some tips for me. I don't know. And the other thing I want to know is, now I put it down, someone said you can sort of, you protect it with some sort of adhesive or, you know, like like some sort of hairspray adhesive or maybe that craft adhesive you get uh, in a spray can. I don't know. Let me know. Um... I don't think it looks too bad. Let's have a look through the shed. So there's looking through my shed in it. There's a bit of a close up through the shed. There's my, uh, it's a Thames ET6 I think it is. On the loading dock. 